So I finally did it. I got the uh, S62 up and running and everything seems tickety-boo. In fact, I gave the car back to the customer just the, just this morning, actually. Um, customer was reasonably happy with it. There was another issue with it when it was warm starting. He said it was hiccuping a bit, but that was just something and nothing, basically. So we're going to watch the video now and I'll basically show you everything I did. Set up the old sweet spot properly this time. Um, Although the first time I did it, in my opinion, I wouldn't have been wrong because I probably would have done it that way. I think um, the first video showing the sweet spot wasn't the best and hopefully the second one explained it better and this one will explain it even more better, in my opinion. So I've got a new setup now. As you can see, I've got a professional microphone and we've got the old green screen going. I've got all the lighting and everything. So hopefully I'll be able to make much better videos in the future. But without further ado, let's go and check out this M5 which came to me absolutely wouldn't run, would hardly accelerate, no power at all. Let's go and look at it now. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and keep switching those notifications on because when I make new videos, if you don't know, I've made them, you're never going to see them and you might not come back and visit me. And I really, really need this channel to grow because I've put all my heart and soul into it. So let's go and check out the M5. was these Vanos diaphragm springs. This is the old one, labelled so-called A. And you can see it's it's really, really quite flat compared to the B variant. I mean, it's virtually flat, is that? And that was the problem, and it was making the camshaft skip. And I'll try and show that. I've took a lot of footage, and I'll try and get everything on, but that was the main reason. And it's been five years, this car faulting. It's been to many, many different places, but that was the, that was the main thing that was causing the issue. We put some thicker ones in 
and instead of facing them kind of this way we now face them this way so the concave bit in with a new adapter washer at the back so let's take a look at that So just something I wanted to show you here, pretty difficult to capture it on camera unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it on my own. As the camshafts are rotating towards the right, as the chain and the sprockets are also rotating towards the right in the normal direction of rotation, what actually happens is, if you imagine the aid of these arrows I'm putting on here now, that as the sprockets and chain turn to the right, the camshafts are lagging behind and they're actually almost staying towards the left side. So your timing is going to go out every time you try and set your timing at TDC. You won't get the slots to line up as you can see in the diagram shortly. And the reason for that is those springs I've just shown you, they're just too weak and they don't keep enough positive pressure. So they don't key the camshafts to the sprockets, to the vanos sprockets enough. Of course, during normal engine operation, these sprockets will move independently of the camshafts because that's the whole point of the advance and retard of the variable valve timing system. But when you turn it by hand, that shouldn't happen. One other point as well, when you do strip these engines, the timing marks are never in the right position on the camshafts because the Vanos system keeps the camshafts in a position advantageous to engine starting. So you'll never get them to line up anywhere usually. The only way you can line them up when you do any type of repair, even if the springs were okay, is you would loosen the sprockets, turn the cams, lock them up, basically. So that's something that you can read about in BMW service literature. And actually, there's a, quite a lot of PDFs online that explain that principle exactly. So bear that in mind, doesn't necessarily mean you have an issue. But in this case, obviously, there was an issue with the spring.
So once you turn the engine over twice, three times in my case, sometimes even four times, all you need to do is check your four timing marks and your camshafts have lined up. So what you're aiming for is the slot and the straight lot sort of groove mark on the camshafts to be in the centre of that slot. And obviously if it's before the slot or after the slot, that isn't enough. And then you'll have to loosen everything off again and then tweak, tweak the camshafts. They're a bit difficult to turn, especially the exhaust ones, being on the slant, being a V8. There's not so much room to actually get a, a good size spanner on there. Well, there you are. Sorry, I couldn't make a huge video about it, but it's running now. I'm going to go and road test it and see. It was a complete pain in the arse of a job because everything was so damaged and worn, but it wouldn't run like this before. It wouldn't idle at all. And now it's quite smooth. So we'll go for a run now and see how it performs. minus 20 and then we need to see how this M5 starts because <clears throat> what we always do here it is really is it's minus 20 it was minus 22 when I got up I did this uh, we did the Vanos on this M5 but we need to see how it starts in cold weather so let's check it out because it's absolutely bloody freezing if it starts good then everything's good let's try it oh it's a minus 18 according to that but in my opinion it's minus 20. Either way, it's pretty damn cold, right? Let's see how she starts. Oh! If that isn't fixed, I don't know what is. Don't want to rev it too much because it's obviously so cold, you know. Oh, well, so that's a pretty good Vanos repair, wouldn't you? Yes, let's go and have a look under the bonnet. Let's check it out, shall we? There you are, Vanos repair, minus 18 according to this, but it's really minus 20. <laughs> Bonnet lifters are frozen. <laughs> they don't work. <laughs> wow, that's a good repair, that, eh? There you are, minus, minus 20. <laughs> 